So we're going to do this integral that someone at the IIT JEE exam writing committee cooked up. The integral of secant squared of x over secant x plus tangent x to the 9 halves power. Now black pen, red pen is the one who inspired me to make this video, but when I saw his video on this integral, he was doing so much stuff, moving things around on the top and using identities, and I thought, wow, I am way too stupid to think of something like that to solve this integral. So is there any way that we could do this integral that doesn't require so much futzing around with the top, the numerator, to get things to look nice? Is there some other way that we can do this that's maybe a little more nitty gritty, but would come to you easier if you have this on a timed exam? So the way we're going to do that is to start out by looking at this bottom. Because when you see something to the 9 halves power, what that's telling you is you're not going to do any crap to the bottom here and somehow make this look nice. The 9 halves power is not going to go away, so you're going to have to substitute the inside here. So let's see what that looks like. If we let u equal secant x plus tangent x, what that means is our du is going to be secant x tangent x plus secant squared x. And when we look at this, we see there's a common factor of secant x. So we can break this up into secant x times tangent x plus secant x. And immediately when I see this, I think tangent x plus secant x. That seems very familiar. In fact, that's what we substituted in the first place. And in fact, we have 9 halves power of these secant x plus tangent x hanging out here on the bottom. So it looks like there's some way that we can manipulate our equation here, because we also have a factor of secant x that just happens to be squared. So let's see if we can start out by getting a tangent x plus secant x on the top. And in order to do that, all we have to do is multiply on the top and bottom, so it's the same as multiplying by 1. So we can multiply secant x plus tangent x up here on the top, and then we multiply secant x plus tangent x on the bottom. And what that will give us is the integral. First of all, we have secant squared of x here, but our du is just 1 secant x. So let's split this secant squared x up into secant x times secant x. So we'll start out just writing the first secant x. Then we have secant x plus tangent x divide by secant x plus tangent x. This time, because we multiplied 9 halves power with, this is going to be, 2 halves power. This will add to 11 halves. Then we have dx, but we are missing our second factor of secant x. So let's write that over here, secant x dx. Now we can see we have something over here that we definitely know how to integrate with just this simple substitution, and we have a factor of secant x. So this looks like something that we should use integration by parts. So let's do that over here. We have di We'll start out differentiating secant of x, because we know we can integrate this other part. In order to do that, let's do the work off to the side. If we do the integral of secant x times secant x plus tangent x over secant x plus tangent x, the 11 halves power. And we know we can use this substitution that we had before, so this is going to become our u. And this top, secant x times secant x plus tangent x, that's going to be our du. So this integral on the top, we're going to get du, and then on the bottom, this is our u to the 11 halves power. And when we do this, you can think about bringing this to the top. This will be u to the negative 11 halves. So when we do that, we'll get u to the negative 9 halves, because it's negative 11 halves plus 1, and then divided by negative 9 halves. And this will be... When we divide by negative 9 halves, that's the same as multiplying by negative 2 ninths. And then if we bring this to the bottom, we get over 9 secant x plus tangent x is our u, and then to the 9 halves power, just like that. So this is going to be the answer to our integral. So let's go over here. The derivative of secant x is secant x tangent x. And then we're integrating this stuff, so I'll just write stuff. And then when we integrate this, we're going to get this answer right here. So we get negative 2 over 9 secant x plus tangent x to the 9 halves. And now we can use our integration by parts formula on this. So this is going to be equal to this part first, negative 2 secant x over 9 times secant x plus tangent x 
to the 9 halves. And then we have these two multiplied together. We have minus a negative, so that'll be a plus. And then I'll bring this 2 ninths to the front of the integral. Then we have the integral on the top, secant x tangent x, divided by secant x plus tangent x to the 9 halves. Now when we're here, we see that this integral looks very similar to what we had initially. The only difference is we had a secant squared of x at the start, and now we have secant x times tangent x. But remember when we did this one, we only used one factor of secant x, and we brought the other factor of secant x out here. So it looks like we can use the same strategy down here, but instead of taking one secant x out, we can take our tangent x out. And in fact, that's what we're going to do. So we're going to take this tangent x over here, and then we'll do the same thing we did before, multiply by secant x plus tangent x on the top and bottom. And what that will do is again change this factor of 9 halves to 11 halves. And we're going to do the exact same integration by parts that we did before, but this time we're going to have tangent x right here. So if we differentiate tangent x, we get secant squared of x. And remember this stuff that we were integrating before, this part and this part are exactly the same. So we can actually use the same answer that we had before when we're doing this part of the integral. So let's see what that gets us. So if we just look at this part, right? Don't worry about the two ninths, don't worry about the rest of it. This is going to be equal to First, we have tangent x times this, so negative 2 tangent x over 9 secant x plus tangent x to the 9 halves. And then we have minus minus is plus again, 2 ninths. And then the integral, we have secant squared of x on the top, aha, and then the secant x plus tangent x to the 9 halves dx. And now we see that the integral that we got is the same as the integral that we had before. So in order to make this a little easier to deal with when we're doing the algebra, I'm going to call this top integral i. So we'll say i is equal to this integral. And this i, because we used integration by parts, is also going to be equal to this. And then this part right here we get on the bottom is also equal to i. So let's erase the board a little bit and write down the information that we have. So what we have now is we have i is equal to all of this stuff, and then this integral right here is equal to the stuff on the bottom. So let's write this over here. i equals negative 2 secant x over 9 secant x plus tangent x to the 9 halves plus 2 ninths, and then I'm going to need more space for this. The integral that we had right here, this integral is equal to what we have on the bottom. So 2 ninths times this stuff, negative 2 ninths tangent x over secant x plus tangent x to the 9 halves. And then lastly, plus 2 ninths. And then this integral is what we had at the start. That's going to be i. And now what we have is all of the integrals have disappeared. We only have i right here and i right here. So this is nothing but a linear equation in one variable. So we can solve this pretty easily. Let's start by moving all the i's to one side. So we have an i right here, and then we have 2 ninths times 2 ninths i. 2 ninths times 2 ninths is going to be 4 eighty firsts. So we do 81 eighty firsts minus 4 eighty firsts is going to give us 77 eighty firsts. And then this will be equal to? And then right here we have 2 ninths times negative 2 ninths, so we can make that minus 4 80 firsts tangent x over secant x plus tangent x to the 9 halves. And then we move this i over here. So let's clear the bottom of the board so we have a little more space. And now we're ready to get the answer right here. So we have 77 80 firsts i right over here. We can just multiply by 81 over 77. And what that's going to do over here, 81 over 77 and 81 over 77. So let's see what we get. 
Over here, these are going to cancel. We get i is equal to 81 over 77 times negative 2 over 9. Well, we have 9 and 81. Those are going to cancel. We get a 9 on the top. So negative 2 times 9 will be negative 18 secant x. And then we have over this 77 stays secant x plus tangent x to the 9 halves. And then over here, we have 81 and 81 cancel, and then we just have minus 4 77 But we see 77 times secant x plus tangent x to the 9 halves. That's the same denominator we have right here. So we can actually combine these two fractions just like this. And in fact, with that, we're done. This is our answer to this integral. So if you ever see something like this where you have a 9 halves power on the bottom and you know you're not going to be able to do any magic to get it to go away, you know this inside is going to be your u. So start looking at the top of your integral and see where you can make your du appear. That's going to let you do this kind of integration by parts thing. And in this case, it was fortunate enough that we were able to get back to our original integral and solve for it just like this.